Let's take a few moments to talk about Chromebooks and bookmarks. When you are on your Chromebook, you're logged into Chrome, and so one of the things that you can do that's very convenient is that you can start bookmarking things, and that anytime you log into Chrome on other Chromebooks, um, or on a desktop if you log into Chrome, you will actually be able to have the same bookmarks everywhere. So it synchronizes your bookmarks across uh, devices as long as you're logged into Chrome. So how do we begin bookmarking? Well, first of all, I've gone to a site that I want to bookmark, and this is NewYorkTimes.com. Maybe that's somewhere I go to check the news every day, and I don't want to have to, to type it in. I want to just click and go. You'll notice on the right side next to the URL in this Omnibox that there's a little star. And if you hover, it says bookmark. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And one of the things that you'll notice is that you'll see bookmarks bar. When you first start using bookmarks, um, the bookmarks bar folder is going to show up and what this means is if I save this here it's going to show up in the bookmarks bar so I'm going to go ahead and click done you'll notice it put it right here in the bar now if you're a person that doesn't see their bookmarks bar you're going to want to go to the kebab or to um, the corn dog menu then you will go to bookmarks and you will choose show bookmarks bar so if there's not a check mark there, um, as soon as you click that, your bar will show up. So now I have the New York Times there, and anytime I'm on another website, when I click there, it'll get directly there. But I know that logo very well. I don't even need the words next to it because that T is very distinctive. So I can do a double finger tap, a light tap to get my right click, and I can actually go to edit. And this title here is very long. So I'm actually going to delete that name. Now, of course, I'm going to leave the website there, but I'm just deleting the name. And I'm going to click Save, and I want you to see what happens. So now what's happened is now I just have that T, just the T on the bar, because I know that's the New York Times. So if you have icons that you recognize, um, anytime the favicon is very um, distinctive, you can actually remove that text, and you can um, show that it's just the website with the icon and not any text. So now let's talk about folders, because once you start adding a lot of things to this bookmarks bar, it's going to get crowded. So let's talk about creating folders. Now you can do a right click, and you can go to add folder this way. Or if you're already at another site, for example, I'm going to go to scholastic.com, because there's a site that I visit a lot there. And once I'm at this website, if I want to bookmark it, but I don't yet have a folder, down where it says folder and I have bookmarks bar there, I'm going to click there and I'm actually going to go to choose another folder. When I click on choose another folder, there's the option to add a new folder there. So I'm going to call this uh, my class uh, websites because I'm going to store the sites that I use with my class the most often in this folder. So after I have it there, you'll notice as I click on it, the little folders open up. So that shows you which folder um, the bookmark is going to go into. So I've got it in class websites, and I'm going to click Save. So now when I go up to the top of my bookmarks bar, I see class websites. And if I click on that, I'll see that it opens up and there's a list of websites here. Now, that name of that site is very long, so I can do the right-click there and go to Edit, and maybe I just want to call this Scholastic. It doesn't need all that other stuff. It's just Scholastic. So then I click Save, and now when I go back to my folder, it has a shorter name. So anytime I go to a site now that I want to add to this, so here's my Scholastic Kids News site I want to add to this class website list, I'll go up, click the star, and it will show the last folder that I used, but you can always open that folder, either go down to choose another and create one, or find the folder that you want to place the link in. Change the name if you want and click Done. So now when I go back to Class Websites, I have several things in there. Now as you start to add things, you can click and drag these around. So if you wanted to move them around in different places, you can do that. You can also drag and drop things into folders. So if I wanted this New York Times 
um, icon to actually go into my tech resources folder. I could drop it inside the folder if I wanted to. So now I have to go inside that folder to get to my New York Times or I can drag it back out and put it back on the bar. So these are drag and drop once you get them there. Now on the left hand side you will always have httpsnc.org bookmarks if you're logged into Chrome with your httpsnc.org account. Different schools have a, a little bit different options of what's in their um, bookmarks um, folder that's pushed down from the district, but these are some places that you don't have to make folders for or bookmarks for because they're already bookmarked for you. So have fun playing with the with bookmarks and being able to sync those across um, Chrome so that it's easy to take all those favorite websites with you and organize them so that you're ready to quickly browse whenever you get to your next device.